This audio series is the property of the radio advertising people. Use of this audio is restricted and permission must be sought before use. This audio series is rated 80. Contains strong language. Parental guidance is advised. I just pick up the phone, yeah I just wanna hear your voice and you know, oh, yeah But you know I'm not gonna leave you alone, yeah You know Joey like the way that you moan, oh. She said, baby boy, no, don't you let go Find myself a find my suicide day She said, Joey, can we change the tempo? Yeah, you know I love you, I just wanna know Episode 24 Corey was wild on me this forced relationship with him was not easy. I had to let him know everywhere I went, everyone who came around me, and every single thing I did. His security guards didn't let me have any peace. I also decided to focus on my school, rebuild myself, and become successful. I was determined. Yeah, Johnny, what's up? Charlie, bro, Charlie, have you seen mommy? Yeah, I, I heard she had come back to campus. Oh, why you, you haven't seen her? No, not yet. Allah, bro, bro, your chick may find her, bro. Ish, then, then I need to call her. Why ah, would she even mind you, Joey? Have you even heard the uh, death row, oh? Oh, as for mommy, the, uh, if I call her small, no, I should oh. fall back for me. Mommy loves me, oh bro. I be the idea. I know, I know, I know, bro. But you owe me, you know that. I said I'll pay you. And relax. Eh? I'll pay you. But you cry, you had an upper hand in our deal, so I, I guess it's cheating. How do I have the upper hand? But she was your ex. Yeah, but we had never had sex before. You and I made a deal to see who can get to have sex with her first. And you took her out, but you didn't chop her. But because you kept calling her and telling her not to go out with me, I mean, come on. You knew she would listen to you. Yeah, but it was a competition. Why didn't you force her to have sex with you when you took her out? Well, I wanted to let her take some alcohol first, but the girl was smart, you know. She didn't want to drink it. Ah, bro. <laughs> I even had Spanish fly. I wanted to put in a drink. Oh, you too. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> that was the chance you had. When you, when you dropped there at the hostel, you should have forced her. Oh, even before that, cra, I tried to kiss her and she said no. Joey, Charlie, the girl, she did feel you, so she did feel you. So obviously, she, she wasn't going to do anything with me. Oh, still, when you took her to the hotel too, she opened it for you and you said no? Charlie, Johnny, you slack, oh. Nah, as for that day, dear Joey, that day I felt bad. She was in need and I didn't want to take advantage of it. Charlie, mommy, she be sweet girl, oh, Joey. She be nice girl. When she came over, same thing, she didn't want to do it. But I had to force her. But Joey, I thought you loved mommy. Charlie, that thing come on my eyes stop. Oh. Too many issues around here, bro. I was nearly killed, oh. Anyway, anyway, I understand you. But Charlie, they, they can't make fresh, oh. I'm sure someone is sponsoring her because the car that comes to drop her on campus, yeah. Yeah, I hit. I'll get her again. Do you want to bet? <laughs> I beg, I beg. How much do I owe you on the first bet? 3K. Send me Momo now. Oh, I'll go send them. I'll go send them. Nah, send them right here. Oh, chill. I said I'll go send them. Why the fear? I'll go send them. Okay, since she doesn't want to see me again, and she thinks you know something about the boys who raped Erica, you and I are on the same level with her. Let's see who can get her. Oh, again? Eh? Again? <laughs> again? Okay. This time, make we do on 5k, 5k. Oh, deal. 
Two weeks maximum. Two weeks. Two weeks. I'm game. But that reminds me. You remember the documents I showed you? Yeah. So how far? What what are you going to do about it? Because if she finds out you have it, the Charlie slow crowd. I know. I know. But Joey. What, what are you going to do with such a document? Because, Charlie, I heard her father sent, sent her to prison also because of this. Oh. oh, yeah, I'm aware. Or maybe I should sell it to her father. Hey, I beg. That man will kill you, Joe. That man will kill you. Don't deal with him directly. Are you cool with Prof? Prof? Professor Aide? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I am. Why? Can you let him deal with Mama's father? No, no, no. Wait. Wait. I, I have a better idea. Yes, tell me. Mame wants this document, right? Yeah, very much. Then, let's sell it to her. What? We will sell it back to her. How? No, 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 no. No, not you. We will let someone else deal with her, not you. And how much will we even sell it? Who says we are talking about money? What? These two boys were the reasons I went to jail. One because I was wrongly accused of allegedly causing rape and the other, my own ex-boyfriend, stealing a document from me. But you see, we serve a living God. After Joey spoke to Johnny, he called me. Hmm. Hello? Hi. What's up? Nothing. I heard you were out of prison. Um, Johnny just told me. Yes. Mame, I'm sorry I wasn't able to come and see you. When I asked, they told me that they had transferred you somewhere else. It's cool. And I, and I wanted to say sorry about the way I treated you last time. I just didn't want any fight between you and Lisa. That's why I'm saying you should leave early. I hear you. But are you okay? Yes. Johnny told me you were looking very pretty yesterday. I see. So I'm free this weekend. Um, I was thinking maybe we could meet. I'm busy. Uh, Mommy, I know you're mad at me, but I'm sorry I couldn't make it. Please, can we just meet up for um, five minutes? Please. Joey. Yeah, mommy. I have to go now. Mommy, please. Just for a few minutes. And, and oh, um, I broke up with Lisa. Please. I'm sorry. I have to go now. Oh, mommy, wait. Don't make me block your number, Joey. What? I don't want to block your number. Take care, Joey. Hello? Uh, mommy? Hello? Hello? Do I need to explain anything? I don't think so. I decided I was not going to let anything bother me anymore. For what I had seen in my life, just in 21 years, was going to shape me to become a better person. As for Joey, no matter how it hurt, to see a boy I once loved, body and soul, do this to me, I just had to move on. I went for my regular classes. Don't forget, my case was still in court. Around 5 p.m., just when I closed class, Corey called me. Hello, mommy. Corey. Have you called from lectures? Yes, please. Um, a few minutes ago. Da, da. The driver is waiting outside in the Mercedes. It's a new one I bought just yesterday. The driver will be picking you up every day from school with it. Uh, wait, let me switch to video call. Yes, please. Then Corey called me on video. He wanted to make sure I was going to sit in the car directly. Just as I was approaching the brand new Mercedes, someone started calling me from afar. Mommy, wait! Wait! Because I was on the call with Corey, I couldn't even turn around. I pretended as if I didn't hear Mike calling me. Mommy? Mommy, wait! 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 It wasn't my intention, but if Corey found out that I was talking to Mike, he was going to beat me. <laughs> so I walked quickly and jumped into the car. Mommy, I'm calling you! Wait!
I felt so bad. Mike called me, but I didn't pick the call. Corey got angry with me because he heard Mike's voice in the background. His temper went over the roof. Mommy, was that him again? Corey, please. I didn't mind him. Please. Uh, you can ask the security guard. Don't play fucking games with me. Corey, calm down. You're scaring me. Please. I, I promise I won't talk to him. Please. Later that night, I decided to call Mike. The problem was, Corey was constantly checking my call log. He had people at the telco who gave him information. But I did something very smart. I made Valerie buy me another SIM card. So that was how I was secretly making calls to my friends. I had to call Mike. Hello, Mike. Yes? Mike, this is mommy. What the hell is going on? Mike, listen. I'm sorry for ignoring you. You keep ignoring me. Is there a problem? Mike, my boyfriend doesn't want me to talk to anyone, especially you. What? You have a boyfriend? Mommy, what are you telling me? Mike, wait, wait, listen. It's not how you're thinking. Mommy, you have a boyfriend? I've been sitting my ass here in school, hoping, just hoping to work this out between us. Then from nowhere, you come back to school looking all glammed up, wearing expensive clothing and being chauffeured on campus like a freaking princess of Wales? Mike, wait. So you're calling me now to rub it in my face that you are ignoring me. Mike, the guy who came all the way to see you when you were looking like a piece of shit in prison. Now you're telling me you have a Mike, boyfriend. I kept quiet to listen to you. Now please hear me out, okay? Please. I don't think I want to do this anymore. You know what? Just go away, mommy. Mike, wait. Listen to me, please. There's a guy who helped me to get the judge to grant me bail. That's how I got out of remand. But he did that on condition that I marry him. Marry him? Yes, Mike. So I'm just trying to find a way to get out of this relationship. Kobe wouldn't let me go scot-free. You know, mommy, I think it's best I stay away. I really love you, but... Mike, wait. Wait for what, mommy? Wait for what? You want me to help you get out of this. Then later you go run off with some other guy. Mike, that's not it. I, I have just been through so much. I know that, but I'm not ready to be here with you. You don't love me, mommy. You don't. Mike, I do. I've never told you this before. Maybe today will be the best time to tell you. And even with what I'm about to tell you, I've still stood next to you because I love you. I remember some time back, I woke up to use the washroom when you were living in our house. I saw my father having sex with you in his private office. Jesus Christ, Mike, you saw us? Yes, mommy, I saw you. Do you even have an idea what that did to me? Mike, wait. Don't make it sound like it was my fault. I never said that. I'm just saying that I knew my father was abusing you. But I never ever used that against you. I was hurt, mommy. But I also knew what you were going through. If you give me a chance and love me back, I swear I will make you the happiest mother in the world. <sighs> Mike, I'm not clean. How is it okay for you to be with a girl who has seen and been abused by so many men? I will clean you up. I promise. And I will love you so hard. Just give me a chance. Just one chance. <sighs> what your father did to me, eh? And... How am I supposed to look at him in the eye and call him my father-in-law? How am I going to get away from Corey? Mommy, one day at a time. Okay, Mike. Uh, I accept your proposal. What? Yes, I accept your proposal. I'll be your girlfriend. You, you will? Hey, um, I guess you're right. You've always been there for me. Maybe I didn't realize it, but yes, you have. And I see great things happening to you in the future. It wouldn't be bad to be your wife. Wow, mommy. Wow. Thank you. But you need to also promise me one thing. Tell me. No more Joey or Derek drama. Oh, never. Not at all. As for what Joey and Derek have done to me, I just want God to be my strength. I've moved on. I trust you, mommy. So now we need to get you out of Corey's house. Yes, about that. I don't have much time, Mike. 
He was saying he wanted us to have a child. Oh, heavens. Hmm. Um, so I have made up my mind to run away before he comes to the city this weekend. But Mike, I I'm going to tell you something. It should just be between us, I beg. Of course. What is it? I have been saving money for some time now from the money Corey have been giving me. Oh, wow. That's good. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so I have applied to a new university in the West. I want to change schools. I'm tired of all the drama here. Oh, wow, mommy. That's good news. Wow, I'm impressed. <gasps> Thanks, babe. I will enroll next semester. So I think that will be better for me. I agree, mommy. I support this idea. Anyway, Mike, I have to go now. I'm sure Corey will try and call my other number. I love you, my new boyfriend. And sleep tight. Mike and I had spoken all night. We had a lot of memories and plans for our future. But I guess I had my own plans. Hello, boss. Good evening. Madam, how are you? I'm fine. I have the money ready. Oh, that's great. Password will be ready tomorrow. In fact, it's ready. I was busy today, so I couldn't go pick it up. So am I getting South African visa with work permit? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With the work permit. When did you say you wanted to leave the country? In two weeks. Exactly two weeks from today. And when are you returning? I'm not coming back.